Hey guys, it's KK Kristen. Um, so today's gonna be a little bit different. Sorry, I can't talk. I can't be loud because my mom's sleeping in the background. So I'm just gonna be doing a voiceover for this whole video. But if you want to stick around and see how to get this look, then just keep watching. <laughs> First, I'm going to use my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the color Coconut. I haven't used this in forever, but I'm going to be applying that with this flat blending brush. I'm going to work that into my crease really carefully, picking up a little bit of color. This is really pigmented, so a little goes a long way. And blue is the messiest eyeshadow color to work with, in my personal opinion. So just be extra careful when working with blue. At this point, I decided to zoom you guys in so you guys can get a better look. But I'm just blending that in a little more, picking up a little bit of color, blending it in my crease, then picking up more until I get the intensity that I want. And I am dusting off fallout every now and then because I don't want the blue to stain my face because blue does stain very easily and it looks like I'm pressing in really hard but I'm actually using a really light hand because I want this shade to blend out really smoothly now I'm switching to the sparse tapered brush and this is going to make it a lot easier for me to blend out those edges for this step I'm using an even lighter hand because I don't want any of that color to transfer or stain I guess a certain area so I'm just using a little windshield wiper movements just lightly dusting on top of that area area and also tiny circular motions. Also what can help if you feel like you're pressing in a little bit too hard and can't blend out the edges smoothly is holding your brush a little bit further from the brush hair so this will really loosen up your grip and make that transition a little bit smoother. I'm also going to dust some of that color under my eye and for this I'm using more pressure because I want that color to be really vibrant under my eye. Also don't forget to keep dusting off the fallout because you don't want that color to stain your foundation. Next, I'm playing with the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Brushes palette and dipping into this blue with that same flat blending brush. I'm staying below that first shade of blue, but I'm also staying above my double lid. If you're confused as to what double lid and a crease is, my double lid is where that skin folds over, and my crease is where it sinks in when I press my brush in, I guess where my eye socket is. So the first shade of blue I applied in my crease, the second shade of blue, which is what I'm applying now, I'm applying above my double lid, which is kind of in my crease, but below the first shade, like I said. Um, yeah, I hope that made sense. So right here I switched back to my sparse tapered brush and to the first shade of blue and I'm just blending that in and making sure the edges are smooth. From my Jaclyn Hill palette I'm picking up some of that black shade and putting that in my outer V and also the first fourth of my eye. Make sure you really blend that in with the blue. I know it's a little bit harder to get color to show up in a little section of your eye so for the inner corner I'm just tapping on that product. I'm also going to blend that on the outer half of my bottom lash line. Next, I'm picking up some of this shimmery off-white with my finger and applying that to the center of my lids. And I'm making sure I'm applying that above my double lid so that when I look up straight ahead, some of that white color shows. On top of that white, I'm using this glitter by Lemonhead. This is adult film and I'm applying that with this flat brush. I'm also applying some a little bit outside of the white, kind of like fading out onto the black um, on the outer corner and inner corner. And I'm going to let that completely dry before moving on to the next step because I don't want any of this glitter to crease in my double lid. Here I'm just adding some more of coconut, which is that first blue shade we used. And I'm just matching it to the other eye. For my brow highlight, I'm picking up my Moonchild palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills and dipping into blue ice with my flat brush. And for my inner corner highlight, I'm picking up my Ultimate Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills again and going into snow. And first I'm going to spray my flat brush with my NYX setting spray. To coat my lashes, I'm using my Revlon mascara and this is the Ultimate All-in-One. And I love this mascara because of the small wand. It makes it so much easier to coat my bottom lashes. I decided to pick up some black eyeshadow onto this small detailed brush and line my waterline. For the last step, I'm applying these false lashes and these are in the style Heartbreaker by Morphe Brushes. 
And here's the final look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video and think it was helpful. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Also, let me know what you think about this look in the comments below and any other tutorials you want me to do. I'm gonna go ice skate now. Thank you so much for watching. Stay caked, stay fierce, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!